The GameCube market, it's on the rise. The Nintendo Wii market, it's on the up and up. Next in line would be the Nintendo Wii U, a lot lower install base. And we took a look at the pricing of some of the games in the Wii U market. And I think it's gonna surprise some of you guys. It might be time to pull the pin on getting yourself a Wii U. What are we drinking? Today we're drinking the 2021 Cinnamon Coconut Bee Bomb by Fremont. This is an Imperial Winter Ale with cinnamon and coconut aged in bourbon barrels. All right, we gotta get this rolling because that sounds delicious. Yeah. You know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss one of our bi-weekly uploads. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's dive into the Wii U market because I think that the damn thing is about ready to explode. This is Dexter Paint Squad. You're watching Gaming Off The Grid. Possibly Ooh. the greatest channel on earth. Yeah, the well, greatest. Besides Game Shack, Game Chasers, Retro Liberty, Chase Up yeah. the Right Price, Both. Russ Lyman. We've been saying for some time now that the Wii U market is going to explode eventually. We really think that it will be a similar collector's market to the Sega Saturn and the Dreamcast because yes. we look at the install bases of those consoles and then you slap Nintendo's name on it. It's a recipe for insanity. It's going to get crazy. It already is getting crazy. And we've been saying that, but we didn't really have proof. But now this episode, we have some proof yeah. to back up why we're saying this. So let's just jump in. We have a couple categories. We have big gains. We have expensive and still rising. Watch closely. And at the very end, we're going to talk about some games that are like, why are these expensive? Yeah. Let's jump into the first category, big gains. The big gainers. Yeah, these are crazy. So all the games in this category have gone up 100% or more. Yeah. So our data goes from now, and that goes all the way back to January 1 of 2020. Yep. So we're just comparing the prices of what they were back then and now, which is the middle of April. Yeah. Game & Wario, who knew? 243% increase. Oh. Game & Wario is selling right now for 102 bucks. I think we got our copy for like 15 bucks. And this is such a great party game, and it's insane that it's going up so much. Yeah. I would not spend that much on this game, but it is crazy yeah. how much it's going up. The next game, you like fighting games? Tekken Tag Tournament 2. This game's gone up 162%. We're, we're not big fighting game fans, but we love us some tech and tag. And the game's, you know, you said 162%, so it's like, it, it must be super expensive. Seems like a lot, yeah. The game's only 28.44 right now, but it has been rising really fast. Tech and Tag Tournament 2 is really good on the Wii U, so you might want to snatch that one up because it's getting up there. Now this next game, oh, yikes. this should be in the Y category, but we decided to put it here because it's been over 100% price increase. Turbo Super Stunt Squad, it's gone the up, DreamWorks movie game. It's gone up a 131%. It's over $100 for this game. This game reminds me a lot of Extreme Disney Skate Adventure on the PS2. But shitty. But shitty. Yeah. It's like a Tony Hawk ripoff because you're a snail. Wait a second. Did this dude just call me a snail? I know it's based on the movies, but and I say I've never played it. I haven't either, and so I say it's shitty, and I haven't it played it. It just looks but it looks bad. Terrible. Yeah. I know it's probably a good, a good kid game, but over 100 bucks. That's it's insane. It's not a $102 good, but I think that's just showing how insane potential is yeah. for the Wii U market to go ballistic. Xenoblade Chronicles X, 130% rise. I love this freaking game. It's going for $35.70 right now, but it was like a $10 to $15 game yeah, not that like long ago. $15.55. Jeopardy. This game is crazy. It's a 123% increase. Now, it might be because, rest in peace, Alex Trebek, you know, huge spike in that. Mm -hmm. This game is around $33 right now. It could dip again. I, I got something at the back end of this episode that I think might be a counterpunch but that might show that it's not because of Mr. Alex. I think that helped. Or it, we'll see. We'll but, see. But still, rest in peace, yeah. man. Yeah. Jeopardy, he was awesome. It'll never be the same without It will never be yeah. the same. Now, moving on to We Party You. Yeah. 118% increase. This game's about 48 bucks now. Yeah. It's insane how it's gone up that much. And I think this is just one that, if you look at what's happened with Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, I think it's Wii Party Motion is the one that's kind of expensive. Regular Wii Party's not so much. Uh, I just don't think this is going anywhere. I think it's only going up. 
Yeah. Uh, Devil's Third. We've talked about Devil's Third a lot on the channel, and you would have thought that maybe this is, uh, you know, kind of reached its threshold, but uh, it hasn't. It was ninety seventy seven last year, and now it's one hundred eighty three twenty. Almost two hundred dollars, and I would not spend that much on this game because yeah. we love this game, but it's glitchy and it's buggy, and we've already talked about this game a lot on the channel, so it's, it's just insane how much it is keep going up. So much bloody and gory oh, it's, fun, it's though. Freaking, it is when you come down somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's freaking fun. Ooh, gets me hyped up. Okay, the next games we're going to talk about, they're expensive, rising still, but not at the clip that the big gainers are. Yeah. Man. So, Zelda Twilight Princess HD, I think it's safe to put an asterisk by this because you think, you're pretty certain, yeah. it's going to get its, uh, because its due or day on the Nintendo because Switch. Because it's the 35th anniversary of Zelda, so I think for its birthday, Nintendo's going to put out a collection. Just like a cake. They, just like they did with Mario, yeah. and it's going to get re-released on the Switch, so that might lower the price a little bit, but right now, this collection is $75 just for the game. Now, I know we have the big box, and this is a whole different... These things are going for crazy amounts. Oh, yeah. For the Amigos, that could be its own other episode. Yeah, we're just focusing on the core just games the game. here. But, yeah, you're right. Those are getting nuts. It's, it's almost 80 bucks for that, so that, that one might dip. Now, moving in to Mario and Sonic. Yeah, so all games. you guys that are fan of Limp Dicks, and I'm talking about the Olymp Dicks... Mario and Sonic, Rio 2016 Olympics. This game. 2016 Olympics. Yeah. $61. No holla. 83% We just recently rise. got this game. We got ours for $28. 20, and we thought that was expensive yeah. for the game. Yeah. And now it's in the $60 range. Yep. Uh, this game is fun. I will say that. But it's just, what? That's, yeah. that's insane. Who now, saw that one coming? The next game we're going to talk about, we've talked about almost in every Wii U episode. It's one of our favorite games, and that's actually in Verge. The multiverse edition. This game's gone up about forty percent, but the reason we're talking about it is because it's got it got put out by a limited run. I think yeah, it, it was limited run. Yeah, and so it's a small batch, and I know it's on other consoles and stuff, but the Wii U I think is the best way to play it. Yeah, it definitely is, and I think that uh, it's only going to go up I, because the supply is never going to increase. That game's locked into whatever batch limited run put out. Shakedown Hawaii I think is going to find a similar. I think that was Deal. strictly uh, limited, maybe? Yeah, she was one of those. I, I don't think it was limited run, so it might may have been them. But uh, it's about 67 bucks right now, and I think it's going to find the same deal. It's just such a limited print that it's got nowhere to go but up. I did want to circle back, though, to the Mario Sonic 2016 Rio Olympics. It was one of the last printed games Nintendo did Ooh, on the yes. Wii U. And you guys know how those later prints in the console's life cycle people traditionally... Go, people go crazy for this. They go nuts. That's one to keep your eye on. I think that game will be triple digits someday for sure. That's going to be yeah. so crazy because we were complaining about getting it for $28. Yeah. You know? uh, watch closely. We've got a category now called Watch Them Closely because we think because of other things that have happened and just we just feel these games are going to be dingers someday. 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 Paper Mario Color Splash. The game is already moving up. It's went up 46% in the last year and some change. It's going for about 36 bucks right now. Didn't get the best reviews, but I'm just thinking, I've seen the trajectory on Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. This is nowhere near as good of a game. But it's still in that Paper Mario universe. But it sold way less copies. Yes. I and just the, think... And the, the version on the GameCube has gone insane. So this one, even if it doesn't go that much insane, it's still going to go a little bit in, insane. Yeah. It's one to watch. That may be one you want to grab here soon. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these, this is all informative. You read your own mail, you might want to grab that one soon. The next one is a Namco game, and it's super fun, and it's Tank, Tank, Tank. Yeah. What a fun party game. This game's gone up 58%, and I just feel like it's going to be one of those games that a lot of people didn't know about. It didn't sell that many copies, and it's just going to keep going up in price. Yeah, it's a game that I'm kind of stunned to even see it at 25 bucks because I've seen it so cheap yeah. so many times, but I think you're right. Rodia, the Sky Soldier, just has a vibe to it for me that it's it's kind of one of those games that was enough under the radar. This is an action adventure game, but it does have some RPG elements. Kind of makes me think it might do what the last story did Along on the, the Wii. Wii. Yep. I could be completely wrong. The game's still relatively cheap right now. It's sitting at 22 bucks, but it has seen a 40 to 50% rise over the last year or so. I think it's going to pop someday. I, I think it is. Now let's move on to the Steam World Collection. This game is very unique. It's gone up about 43% as well. This game is like a turn-based strategy game, but then there's shooting involved and platforming. Yeah. It's The visuals are really sweet. It's steampunky. 
And it's just, I feel like it's going to be one of those games that a lot of people didn't know about. And it's, whoop. Yep. I, I, I mean, it already is a little bit. Um, I just see the game is 30 bucks now or whatever. Um, you know, I was, I've seen that game on the DL. Just a, It seems like a few months ago. I know it was over a year. But um, it's just weird, some of these prices. I They weren't in my head like that. No, yeah. Um, a couple games that I think... Uh, just some unique things going on with new Luigi U. It's got that green case and it's, it's going so for just slightly more than new Super Mario Bros. U with new Luigi U on the disc. Yes, so it's slightly more by itself than it is yeah. with, when it comes with two games. Just <laughs> like, something quirky about that. I'm guessing that sold far less copies than that did, or than the, the full collection did. I'd keep your eye on that one. And it's a standalone Luigi game. DuckTales Remastered. Ooh, that's a great game. That one's always been expensive on the Wii U. It also got pulled off some download shops here just recently. 28 bucks. I don't know that it's going to blow up, but it's definitely not going anywhere. I would keep your eye on that one. Then two other super cheap Wii U games that we think you should keep your eye on. NES Remix and Nintendo Land. Yes, we love both of these games. Yeah. They're both still super cheap. They haven't gone up that much. NES Remix Pack's gone up like 9%. Nintendo Land has gone up like 18%. We love these games, and I don't know why they're this cheap compared to the prices of other games, but I have a feeling they're just late bloomers. Yeah. They're going to get there. I think you're going to see the Wii Sports effect with Nintendo Land. Yes. Almost and all but guaranteed. Nintendo Land is so much better than Wii Sports, and the NES Remix Pack has so much value because it's Pack 1 and Pack 2. It has the Nintendo World Championship. Yeah. You can play Mario backwards. Yeah, like what's that, just, Luigi? Luigi Bros, it's, Super Luigi I don't Bros, remember yeah. exactly what it's called, but it's just so much fun. Both yeah. those games are. And I think now is the time to get them because they're like dirt cheap. Dirt cheap for both those games. Now we're going to move into the category that's kind of the WTF or why. I think there's a ton of value in this section though. Yep. We don't own any of these games. We probably never will own any of these games. But these games are games that I feel like you're going to find at pawn shops, thrift stores, garage sales, yard sales, Salvation Armies, Goodwills. And you need to strike because these are great flippers to fill in your collection with dingers. Yes. Cabela's. Big game hunter. Any guesses? Ah, uh, I know I'm not a big fan of the Cabela's unless I'm at like a bar drinking. $62. <laughs> That's what, what it's going for right now on the oh, week. Oh, yikes. Uh, are you serious? Real life talk. Rapella's bass fishing. I'm going to keep going, guys. How much is it? $44.61. So you can digitally fish. On your Wii I mean, U. It just How do you do that? It blows my mind. Because these counterparts on the Wii aren't worth jack shit. So they must have just sold so bad. So we so talked we, about Jeopardy a little bit ago. Yeah. Okay. We were like, oh, I think, you know, the tragedy that, that happened with, uh, you know, Alex may have contributed to it. I think you may be right. But it's very ironic. Wheel of Fortune's a $38 game. Wheel what? of Fortune. <laughs> Is the Wii U version of Wheel of Fortune like insanely fun or something? I don't know. Funky Barn? Oh, God. Funky Barn's a $29 game. Phineas and Ferb. About a $30 game. Okay, I do like Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. But it's a kid game. Why is it that much? I, Why is Phineas and Ferb and Funky Barn more than <laughs> Nintendo Land? And NES Remix. Why? It yeah. doesn't make sense. I... Oh, why? I don't even know. I think the 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 there's something strange going on with this market. It's the Wii U. I can feel it coming. We've been calling it out for months, if not the last year, that this thing will get crazy. This market will be very similar to the Sega Dreamcast and the Sega yes. Saturn. You smack Nintendo's name on it, it's gonna get cuckoo for freaking Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> sure has its ups and downs. We talked about a lot of games here that we think would be great to have in your collection. I don't know about you, but I would never pay 102 bucks for Game & Wario. No, even though we never pay 183 for Devil's Third. No. But it's coming, guys. It's coming. It's coming. Some of the games we talked about here are funny. You know, like, why would I ever want that? But they're great flippers. Yes. You don't want to walk past a game like Cabela's that you're like, oh, I would never play that. Well, grab it because that's 60 bucks and you could buy games that you I, will play. I bet, now that I know because we did this episode how much that, I bet we walked past Cabela's so many times because I just think they're joke games. Yeah. But if, if that's worth $60 and it's $2 at Salvation Army and I'm walking past I have a past feeling it, when we're out game hunting this summer at Grad Sales, we're going to be like, we're going to kill it in that, in that Y category. I really do. I would have never suspected it because yeah. it, you just think, oh, those are joke games. It's just, it's a volatile market. I think it's going to pop. I think we're probably three to five years out from when people are like, oh, wow, here it is. Yeah. Um, maybe even a little longer. 
But the, the, nonetheless, you're seeing a lot of videos out there on YouTube right now saying now's the time to get in on the PS3. I don't disagree with that, but it's really the time to get in on the Wii U. Yeah, the Wii U is super hot. Yeah. Speaking of super hot, let's talk about this beer. It's a winter lager. It's a winter lager. So this is the Cinnamon Coconut Bee Bomb by Fremont. This is a, uh, a winter ale. Win right? Imperial winter ale yeah. with cinnamon and coconut Asian bourbon barrels. Our good buddy Joe Wall sent this to us, so thank you, Joe. What do you think? Well, the Bee Bomb is typically like a stout, right? But this yeah. is a winter ale. It's a winter ale. Yeah. Which is, I, I thought since it was Bee Bomb that it was going to be an yeah. Imperial stout, but I am really enjoying this. I mean, I still am getting some, you know, coffee notes, but I I definitely feel like we're drinking this out of season. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a winter beer. And I definitely feel like the marriage certificate is real. Yes. And she is mine. She's mine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I I still like this beer, like, a lot. It's I really, wish the Christmas tree was up. I, I wish the Christmas tree was up. I wish we were wearing sweaters. It is yeah. kind of cold. I wish we were wearing sweatpants. Well, it is cold out. We, we're yeah. allowed to. It um, is cold outside, so she hands me a raincoat. Okay. But this that's beer, not that's not what Larry Kisler. She said it's cold outside. She hands me a raincoat. What's that? What is that? Pro Matchbox Jam? Twenty. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, okay. I don't know why we're talking about that. Oh, Matchbox Twenty. This beer is definitely a dime. Yeah, <laughs> two oh. dimes. I think it's really good. This beer is really smooth. Uh, the cinnamon and coconut taste is kind of like a sprinkle on top. You don't get it super strong like the cinnamon. I was worried the cinnamon was going to be too strong. Yeah. It's just like a little accent flavor. I wish there was a little bit more coconut because I love coconut flavor. But it's still in there slightly. This is a nice, easy drinker. Well balanced. A lot of times holiday ales can kind of get that uh, spicy, that potpourri vibe yeah. going yeah. on. This doesn't do that. Very good beer. Thanks again, Joe Wallace, for hooking us up with this brew. Guys, that's just about a wrap. Hopefully you got some intel here. This is all about information. Information is power. When you're out there hunting on the fly, you can't always be looking shit up on your phone. You gotta know. You gotta be able to make a decision. You gotta be able to jump in front of that guy and say, I'm taking all those games right there, yeah. And I'm gonna flip them and I'm gonna turn them into more video games. Dig it. Whoa. Data. It's all about data. Hopefully you got some good intel here to go apply to your game hunting endeavors. You guys might wanna strike the iron while it's yes. hot. Um, I learned a lot from this episode. Yeah. So hopefully you did too. Yeah. We always appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming. Oh, flavor head. It's going to be a nightmare console for collectors to get into in, blah, 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 in the future. We love the Wii U so much. Now is the time. Yep. The time is now. Yeah. Okay. All right. The marriage certificate is real. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, she is mine. Yeah, it's good. not too... Uh, it's seasoned, but it's not yeah. too powerful. Yeah. I like it. Tommy likey. Tommy want wingy. Sounds delicious. And it was a gift from Joseph mm. Wallace. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Uh, okay. That was good after that. Bit. Oh, boy. Don't you take me to Funky Barn. These are just games that we picked. Yeah, yeah the Wii U market has only went up about three and a dollars and a quart. But... What are we drinking? Today we're drinking the 2021 Cinnamon Coconut Bee Bomb by Fremont. This is an Imperial Winter Ale. Winter Ale. Winter Ale? <laughs> winter. 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 <clears throat> winter. I like that. Yeah. Got it. Checkmate. So it's a little out of season, but you know what I always say? <laughs> what? The marriage certificate is real. She is mine. Yeah. You always say that. I think you can say something about this season. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is the marriage certificate is real. She is mine. And every goddamn penny she's got in the world is mine too.